are. Thank you for your amazing fun and all that you've done. We just acknowledge any sins, known, unknown, and forgotten. Pray you would teach us, help us to trust you, think your thoughts, and follow along with you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, here you go, guys. It's a beautiful verse. It's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> it says, but I do not account my life as of any value nor is precious to myself, if only I may finish my course. And the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel, the good news, the king is reigning on the earth, he has a kingdom, he won, and everybody's invited, right? That's the gospel. The king is reigning on the earth of the grace of God. It's free gift, so that no one may boast before God. We were all pretty stupid. Look, it says finish. Boy, I just want to finish. That's what I feel like. That's all I ever felt. Well, we have some good news, and I'm not a prophet. <laughs> but uh, there, is, uh, there is like this uh, pictures of prophecy. You know, uh, the way that it works is providential circumstances, comparison of events, right? The filling the Spirit, Word of God. That's all I've ever done, and it's worked. And uh, it happened again this morning. It keeps happening. Here's a picture of some Indians. Right? Indians, that's the similar thing. That's what Satan constructed. Some evil seed, put them in some... Uh, they look just like turkeys, don't they? It's Thanksgiving. We're going to have some turkeys. <laughs> and they, they dress like a turkey. They look like... Uh, but that turkey ain't no joke. You need to read about turkeys. Uh, everybody needs to read about turkeys because we are a turkey. We're a domesticated, and we were a wild turkey, and we're trying to be a wild turkey because they're very hard to sneak up on. But a domesticated turkey just sits there, and uh, there's a whole list of things that turkeys do and don't do and why they look like this and don't look like that, and uh, it's amazing. And so bottom line is that Jesus is here. Jesus is in this picture. It looks like somebody like Jesus, or uh, he sure looks like him. He has a nice hat on, and uh, he's making peace. I have a better picture of it. And uh, it just popped up this morning. Here's a better picture. See, it has a golden crown. And this is what you see in Egypt all the time, this, this U shape. And uh, what that is, is um, I, haven't fig I haven't, you know, it's in, the, it's in the relics, whatever. But here's Jesus. And he's saying to the Indians, as you can see, there's an Indian. He's talking to them. And there's the white guys. And uh, there's a guy with the suit on. And there's obviously uh, someone very different than normal in this picture right and so what that means is Thanksgiving was a time when they reached maturity John Bunyan reached maturity and it's in his picture afterwards you know holy war and uh, they crossed the Red Sea just like in the movies just like uh, Jesus did before and uh, God took them Egypt took uh, Israel out of Egypt over the Red Sea, but they didn't listen. Well, these guys grew up to maturity, and they listened. So America was founded on Jesus Christ, and, and we know we don't know all the rest. We just know the covenant, and it was broken. But there was peace, and uh, so, and then down here is giving him some peace pipe so he can hook up his left lobe <laughs> because he, he's only had his right lobe. The Indians are like, look, we got the whole different thing, left lobe Greek. You guys are only right lobe Hebrew. See, that's what happened. And so God, it was all a trick. You know, he'll explain the details later how we got screwed and how he's been screwing with our minds since we were born so we could be born and be tough and be, uh, be children that didn't have insanity, that wouldn't be insane and mean and, and irratable and, blah, and all that stuff, right? He had to build that out of us. That's all. It's just a joke. It was just a joke. Everybody, everybody thought they were smart. And he wanted you to think you were smart. <laughs> That's the point. And then you had to find out you weren't smart, that he's way, way above us. Basically, he just uh, took out some trash and forgot he left some of his excrement in there. And we all popped out of it because it's really living stuff inside. And all that was the result of it. So he took a family out of the toilet. He came and got us out of excrement. He, and uh, that's the mud that he built Adam and Eve from. See, this is all true. He got his hands dirty. And now we're going to be gold, perfectly clean. See, this is the deal. And we're moving on our way towards the sun. There's a time limit. Uh, 
we're getting closer and closer. And it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt anything, anybody. Everybody has a free gift. They're all on the cross right now. They are lost. And uh, they have a choice to have death or life. And it's free. Take it. Free gift. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> you just have to submit. Uh, believe he did it and trust him because that's how this all started they didn't trust God that he was what he said he was and, and what he was going to do and how he was going to do it and so he knew they wouldn't and it was on purpose God's a billion times funnier smarter than we are we're an idiot you know it's like a cat my cat right it doesn't talk but it seems to be getting smarter after all of its uh trials and situations and taking it to the forest and, and then bringing it back over the hills right and mountains and then now it's uh it it seems to be growing it's really cool i took it for a walk it's not a person but it it's smarter it's it's like wow it's a, it's growing it, it stays inside it's a wild cat it, it yeah the whole way it's wild he wanted it to be like that wild but friendly you know and that's how he did it and so we're like a cat to him. <laughs> we just, but more, of course. We're his family. But I mean, as far as intelligence level, we just grew up to being a freaking cat. And we have a brain now, and he's going to give us another one, right, to start to talk. But we're all just babies, eggs. That's the Easter bunny. He, you know, the eggs, that's us. We're just popped out of an egg, man. Now you want to rule the freaking world? <laughs> You're not going to do that. You got to have some more education. But thank God it was all true. And he's as great as he said he was. And this is just fun for him. Here's some Bitcoin, right? You know, this happened too this morning. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. It's, it's a little rocket ship. It's a kingdom. This is Satan's kingdom, what he wanted to build. This is what God built. It's gold. That's why we're heading to the sun. Whatever doesn't burn up is going to be pure. It's pure gold. See the, the, the stars, the eight planets? Right in front of our face, God described history, the gods. Satan played the gods deal from the planets, from the past. God did too, right? They were just playing. And they were getting close. They didn't realize. But it was lead, silver. Each planet represents a metal. Okay? And the metal had to be purified. And now we're down to Earth. And we're the closest thing, except for the moon, right? Because it circles around us. But we're the closest planet we're going to be to the sun. So whoosh, there's one up, up, up forward there, but it's a little burning, right? So now we have uh, magnetic poles pushing us closer, faster. And God wanted that to happen too. So see, we're moving towards the sun. And we're going to get clean. That's just what it says. And then we're going to be in our own gold round uh, planets, basically. It's us as a planet. We're a tree. And we're round and all that good stuff. And it's pure gold. It can never be hurt. It, and the malting process will never happen again and we'll be with God forever. <clears throat> yeah, that's the answer. Uh, and it's Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah, it's all true. And um, there's not much <clears throat> to say after that. Right after all these doctrines, he loves us. He tricked us. <clears throat> he was just trying to help us, right? And it took millions of years, thousands of them, thousands and thousands and thousands, six thousand years of them playing war games, doing all this, everybody tripping, just so we could all grow up and realize we're we're just kids of God and we're not very smart. And now we have all that <clears throat> backstory to be able to live with. And it's just going to get better. Everybody's going to be okay. It was always going to be okay. It was always a joke. It was always a game. It was always a story. It was never close. Satan and uh, us were never going to kill each other or the world. It was never going to happen. The Taliban, the ISIS, all this stuff was bull. And, uh, and who was the Republican and Democrat? Everything was a lie. Every single thing was a lie. And it was all a trick to get us to grow up, to have a backstory, so we could go on to eternity with God. So we would be the peacemakers between the universe, so that blessed are the peacemakers, for they will see God. Isn't that great? And so apparently, uh, some people are just hell-bent on uh, not giving in, right? So it says here, uh, in Revelation chapter 16, but we're about Let's see where the where it looks like it's all fun. 
is about right here. Is the scene in heaven. 15. Let's try it. Revelation 15. Then I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels who had seven plagues, which are the last, because in them the wrath of God is finished. And I saw something like a sea of glass mixed with fire, and those who had been victorious over the beast, his image, and the number of his name. Now, <clears throat> the beast is in us. You have to overcome the beast. The beast in us tells you that Jesus doesn't exist. That this isn't true. Right? Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. You have to overcome the beast to get the dragon. Right? The beast is the first thing you have to overcome. Is, the, is Satan in us. Living in us. And he's wrestling in us. And we have to overcome that part. And uh, his image is building Satan in us. His mind back in the day, right? To build it with evil, right? Uh, to build it with anti-goodness. <laughs> and the number of his name is the genetic code, right? 666, the iteration on the gene pool. Because we're going to become something uh, different. A uh, different animal. Uh, uh, many different things. <laughs> and so, but he's going to save all them if this doesn't change at all first. I don't know the answer, right? He... Because, like, right now, everybody's giving gifts to each other. It's like Bridget and I died uh, yesterday. I don't see them online. Uh, there was two people. One was moral degenerate. One was immoral degenerate. And they were like soldiers sent to prevent me from doing this. Jacob and Boaz or whatever. And, uh, and they both couldn't defeat this thought, these thoughts, but they quit. They were there for years, 10 and 15, and as soon as it got to the last answer, they quit. They couldn't go anymore because it wasn't real. It was fake. So my best friends for 15 years went with me all the way till it was true. <laughs> Holy cow, that's a hell of a deal. Right? So God, if they can be saved, they will be. Uh, it seems like they are. It seems like they believe everything except something's in them that prevents that. That's heavy. And that's a billions of people. So it's beyond my pay grade. But that's what happened. And so now we're just... It ended. I picked up the cat. The rabbit. <laughs> We've been here a day and now. It's Thanksgiving. Wow, what a coincidence. And the last time this happened, when the nation started, God made peace with the Indians, demons, and uh, us. And so now there's peace between demons and us. Okay, great. Uh, I guess that lasts forever. I don't know when it happened, if it's all been a game, how it worked, but we were all on our little computers having a great time. Well, anyway, we won. You don't have it. You overcame the beast because you're still overliving. You didn't build his image, his thoughts. So you overcame good and evil, and uh, you're not wearing a mark or having a sore on your face like they have, right? So you're good. So you're going to be standing on the seat glass holding a harp. Oh, yeah. And whatever that harp is, maybe, I don't know, we'll have to see. And uh, they say the song of Moses, the bond servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are your works, O Lord God the Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, King of the nations, who will not fear, O Lord, and glorify your name. See, that's for, that's what I'm saying. Everybody who gets to get this video, and I'm not talking about me talking. I'm talking about the video of what happened. And well, what God did and what everything happened. And that this was a sweat drop from his ass. And I'm telling you that if everybody knows that and catches on to that, then you're going to go, who in the hell will not fear the Lord? See, that's, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. Everybody has to get over it and realize they're really dumber than the rock. He built us. We're babies. He's God. You build someone. How smart do you have to be to do all this by eight billion at a time? We have no idea. That's why it says, who will not fear the Lord? See, it ain't a joke. Who will not fear the Lord and glorify his name? If anybody watched this movie, his movie, and didn't catch on to that, then they've missed the movie. They have to go back to the... They have to go back to the clay and the mud and the water shit. Because that ain't going to work. This is easy. Right? For you alone are holy. For all the nations will come and worship before you. For your righteous acts have been revealed. See, this is prophecy. We're witnessing it. It's happening. Right in heaven. 
Not here at Bible class. It's happened all over the world. Look at your Zoom Earth thing, right? It's calm. It's peaceful. It's quiet. Hey, whatever. After these things I looked, and the temple of the tabernacle of testimony in heaven was opened. And the seven angels who had the seven plagues came out of the temple clothed in linen, clean and bright, and girded about their chests with golden sashes. Then one of the four living creatures came to the seven angels, seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God who lives forever and ever, and the temple was filled with the smoke from the glory of God and from his power. And no one was able to enter the temple until the seven plagues of the seven angels were finished. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, Go and pour out the earth, pour on the earth, pour out on the earth the seven bowls of the wrath of God. So the first angel went out and poured out his bowl on the earth, and it became a loathsome and malignant sore on the people. And uh, I've already seen it on some. So that part's already happened. Apparently to some or whoever did it, because they got it. Uh, people who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped his image, right? There's a sore, so then they're marked. That's it, right? Because they said no, that's all. And the, the second angel poured out his bowl, his bowl into the sea, and it became blood, like that of a dead man. And every living thing in the sea died. Oh, uh, yeah. And the third angel poured out his bowl in the rivers and the springs of waters, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the water saying, Righteous are you who are and who were, O holy one, because you judged these things. For they poured out the blood of saints and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink. They deserve it. And I heard the altar saying, Yes, O Lord God, the Almighty, true and righteous are your judgments. The fourth angel poured out his bowl upon the sun. Hey, the sun. Really? Yep. And uh, that's going to empower everyone. <laughs> uh, everything that was bad is good. The sun is going to make it our, our uh, spiritual lives increase tremendously. And so is the excrement and all the nutrients that's been settled there. And it's all going to activate and it's all legitimate. It's funny. It's hilarious. It, it all worked out. It's amazing. It's like this. Look. It's like this. This will help you. This helped me is this fractal tree. Wherever the fractal tree is. Here it is. Hold on. Fractal tree's coming up. Because that thing I just saw it a second ago. And uh, there it is. Okay. Here's a fractal tree, right? You guys saw this before. Or maybe. See, this is what the universe is built of. See? See that tree? Okay. Well, it starts. Look. It starts... It start, there's a tree, but that's not how it starts. See, it starts upside down, like that, a pyramid. How can that be? See, it's a pyramid of upside down pyramids, and then it changes, and it changes many times. This is the power of three. This is God's, this is God's clay, his building blocks, okay? So everything everybody used, including Lucifer, the demons, everybody used his clay. <clears throat> so they can form it any way they want to, but it moves. See, it changed to this. Look, these are cell towers. <laughs> Those are cell towers, right? How does it, it turn into that? It, it just has to happen like that. And there's a net, see? There's an intertwined net. That's what Satan built, but he didn't know it was built into the clay. It automatically builds that. It's just timing. And then God has a timer on it. See, and it moves. Look, and then it turns into that. Look, it's like a giant grabbing thing. I don't know what that is, right? And then all of a sudden it changes, and now it's a tree. And that's how it ends. It started as a pyramid. See? So that's what we're in. We're in this process, and we're changing. It's going to come into a giant tree. And if you come out of yourself, when God pulls you out to see the outside of the, the picture of what's going on, it's a giant tree. And he's going to say, now you guys leave me alone. <laughs> and see ya. Man, I'm glad that's over. Right? I mean, gosh, man, I'll see you guys at lunch. Jeez, get cleaned up. 
right? You know, go through some altered carbon stuff. That's that's it. Some malting, right? This is uh, way beyond our pay grade. I don't even know how to make that. People know how to make that. Okay. Well, anyway, the fourth angel poured out his bowl upon the sun, right? That's where the that's good. It's not bad. It's only bad for the people who said no, but it's okay. They won't remember it. It's all good. It just goes into dust. It's just gone. This is supernatural stuff. Everybody believe it. God's more by a billion. We're here. We shouldn't be here. <laughs> You're here. Look around. You're here. <laughs> Whoever's here, right? Whoever's in heaven is going to be shocked they're there. And, uh, and they were bad. So, yeah. There's no such thing as, there's no such thing as uh, God was mean in any way, ever. It's all been a joke. It's all been a game, and everybody's going to realize it. And the more that they realize it, they won't have any problem. They can't have one. It's impossible. And if you do, then it's dust. It doesn't make sense. Your programming is wrong. It just doesn't fit. It's broken. And it can't be broken because he's going to take this program and run it through everyone. And if you don't accept it, well, that's crazy. And then it's broken. See, that's it. Uh, it's 2 plus 2 is 4. Well, I can't figure out 2 plus 2. I think it's 1. Well, then you can't pass the class. I mean, that doesn't make sense. Oh, it's 1. Okay. Well, see, uh, you can stay in the 1 class then, right? I mean, it's just simple. <clears throat> and if people want to do whatever they want to do, he might let them. Right? Just somewhere else. It, it, this is going to be a big tree. It can't be anything else. It can't be anything else. And we were grafted in. Wild olive tree that came from Satan. He grafted us in, we're all grafted in. It's been an amazing plan. Everybody fought so hard against it, and it happened anyway. So we have to realize that God is a billion times smarter than every single person who ever was born by God. And then we just keep growing. See, that's heavy. That's some wild kids, man. He wanted wild kids. He wanted wild kids, and even the most famous ones are wild. They'll kick your ass, right? <laughs> And it's just to be good. I mean, we're here to be like God, knowing good and evil. That was the plan from the beginning. That he knows good and evil. It's not here. It's what, this is bye-bye. Uh, we're going off to the next place. The only thing is you trust him and you believe him. And you don't doubt him. And you don't question him. That's it. That's the only covenant. That's the only uh, commandment. <laughs> Don't doubt God. <laughs> now, that's it. Don't doubt God. Trust Him. Follow along. Listen and pray. Just ask. Just pray. I mean, just ask. Just listen. It works good. Just ask Him. Just listen. Right? That's that's easy. That's an easy rule. Uh, yeah. Nine. Men were scorched with fire and heat. They blasphemed the name of God. See, He's trying to help them. Just like He did us, but they're not doing it somewhere. All, one of them, 20, whoever, I don't know, but they never had no clay. They're never clay, pop never popped in, life never happened, it never worked. It never jumped, right? It's just clay it started from. Who has the power over these plagues? And uh, they did not repent. They didn't just believe. It wasn't a big requirement. Uh, so as to give him glory. Then the fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast. And his kingdom became darkened. And they gnawed their tongues because of pain. <clears throat> and they blasphemed the God of heaven. Because of their pains and their sores. And they did not change their mind of their deeds. See, you already got that. The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates. And, the, and its water was dried up. So that the way would be prepared for the kings from the east. Because they're just dead batteries, right? It's just not there. And so God is just allowing it to fulfill the purpose to try to eke out as much people as possible. And of course, there's lots. It was always good. It was never bad. See, that's the part that everybody's going to wake up to. This was never a mistake. It wasn't a war. There wasn't death and killing. There was rape and, and, and selling of children and eating of children and, and offering it up and eating people and the whole mess. It was called growing up. You know, you were tripping on it because it was all subjectivity. God was never upset about it. Oh, that, see, it was all propaganda. It was all a trick for we could grow up. But it was never serious. It was never serious. It was, yeah, serious in there. In there it was, but not out here. That's all serious for growing up. 
<coughs> it had to be real. It is Westworld. If everybody is still here after today, go watch Westworld. And uh, first, second, and third season, <laughs> and uh, you're going to see the whole thing. That's exactly what happened. That, that's exactly what happened. He told us. And the Matrix, and this, and that, and dee 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 dee. And uh, on the other side, there was the special thing where you could be one of these elite people and go through this gate and head off to, this, to these other dimensions. Well, that's not going to work. It's Jesus, right? This is the end. we got a few years left before the sun gets too close. And we're on a timer now, right? And it's not going to stop. It's just going to get warmer. <laughs> You're getting warmer. <laughs> right? It's just, is that your final answer? Right? <laughs> He's just going to head closer to the sun. Hey, guys, uh, you know, anytime you can just believe. Right? That's God. So, it's not from lack of trying. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, anyway, six angel uh, poured out his bowl in the great river Euphrates, dried up so that the way would be prepared. Armageddon 13, Revelation chapter 16, verse 13. And I saw coming out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, three unclean spirits like frogs. For there are spirits of demons performing signs which go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them together for the war of the great day of God the Almighty. Behold, I'm coming like a thief, right? He's going to gather them, right? Uh-oh. And then, oops, I'm coming like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays awake and keeps his clothes, right? So that he will not walk about naked and men will not see his shame. The close is, you're in fellowship. You have understanding. You've overcome good and evil. You're trusting God's thoughts. You're just playing the shade. Waiting for the moment. Right? That's it. And uh, keep putting the word first day in fellowship. That's all. Believe in him. Look, he's just fun, right? And they gathered, <clears throat> and they gathered them together, the demons, right? To the place which in Hebrew is called Armageddon. Right? That's a great war. Then the seven angel, right? We'll see what happens. Because uh, we'll see. 17. Then the seventh angel poured out his bowl upon the air. And a loud voice came out of the temple from the throne saying, It is done. And there were flashes of lightning and sounds and peals of thunder. And there was a great earthquake. Boom! No. <laughs> as such as there has not been since man came to be upon the earth. So great an earthquake was it, and so mighty. That great city was split into three parts, and the cities of the nation fell. Great city looks like uh, the Pantheon Rome deal, right? And then everywhere. But if you look, the, the island's already cut <laughs> with the knife. You can see they spent time splitting them up, ready to go. Uh, it's on purpose. See, it's on purpose to get us to the sun. See, God wrote all that and it all looks scary. But that's not what's the scary. It's it's because we're heading to the sun. <laughs> and everybody's adjusting and only the excrement's going to fall out, right? We lived in shit all our life and uh, that's fine. And, and whoever else has to live in it for the rest, that's their deal. Because some people took shit at the beginning. They get it at the end. They get it at the be end. They get it at the beginning. It's all fair. God is just, right? Beyond and more, and he bends, and he doesn't break, and he came out and he showed us love like no other, right? No one was judged for the sins of the world. No one except him, right? No one did this plan. No one loves. No one showed motivation. No one even knows what love is till he was here. No one knew what love is, hate is, war, famine. He had to teach us all this stuff. That's all. It's just a class. It was never serious. People died. They lived again. He took care of it. It's none of your damn business. What's that to you? Follow me. If you can't trust him by now, something's wrong. We're smart. You can be God in your own excrement pile, right? And that's how we're born. Oh, yeah, I'm loving this. I'm God of my own shit. That's crazy. And uh, it's silly. He's God. He had to teach us. We have to wake up and say, yes, sir. Sorry about that. Whoa, I didn't realize. Yes, sir. Sorry about that. Believe. I believe. Help my unbelief. <laughs> That's it. I believe in you. I want to go. Remember me when you get to your kingdom. You'll be today. He'll fix all that. You'll get the same programs. It's amazing. Anyway, Babylon the Great was remembered before God to give her the cup 
of the wine of his fierce wrath, and every island fled away, and the mountains were not found, and huge hailstones, about one hundred pounds each, came down from heaven upon men, and men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hell, because its plague was extremely severe. Yeah, well, it's heading that way. Uh, then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and spoke with me, saying, saying, Come here, I will show you the judgment of the great harlot who sits on many waters and whom the kings of the earth committed acts of immorality. And those who dwell on the earth were made drunk with the wine of her immorality. And he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast full of blasphemous names having seven heads and ten horns. Well, we got, that's already that's a done deal. The woman was clothed in purple scarlet and adorned in gold precious stones, pearls on her head, uh, having in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and unclean things of her immorality. And on her forehead was a name, was written, Mystery, Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots, of all the abominations of the earth. That's the great confusion, human good and evil, from the gate. And all religions came, all that and religion was thrown in by that, right? All three. Human good, evil, religion. Don't eat from the tree, right? As soon as they uh, they partook of that, boom. That's it. It was on purpose. This was all on purpose. See, if that's, the, that's the part. Truth will set you free. Okay? Yeah, you believe in Jesus. That's the truth, right? The truth is this was all a game. At no time was God ever mad. It's an anthropopathism describing to God a human characteristic to describe his way of wanting things done. So he threw all that in. It, it, and, and the more that you realize this was a game, it was an incubator. We're a bunch of little chickens in a chick incubator. Okay? And the chickens thought they were something. And then they molted. And then they got back. And blah, blah. Well, they molted. And everybody has their feathers off. They're looking like, whoa, what the hell happened here? And so he's going to fix it. But it's a joke. It's a game. It's a way to make a family. Yeah, you try it, right? And so it was never serious. Okay. Well, anyway, on her forehead, six. And I saw a woman drunk with the blood of the saints. And they drank it, and they drank it, but we get it back. It's okay. It's all the same. It's the same body. We're all in him. It's his food. It's his drink. It's his body. It's his blood. All of it's an analogy. You've got to be able to handle it. We've got to drink his blood and eat his flesh. See? They're going to drink it. Ah, he's going to pour blood down. No, we're all one body. See? It's all going to be okay. They're going to heal each other with it. Everything's going to be as good as it can be, except for that big piece of excrement that pops out at the end. It's a, it's a, it's a threshing floor. This is a giant threshing floor. Floor. This whole plan, all the way down to a port of sanitizer, a toilet. It goes up to down. That's all it's designed to do. Impurities go out. Good stuff goes that way. And grace on top of it by the billions. It was an open book test. And he had many chances you just didn't know. And it says, when I saw her, I, I wondered greatly. And the angel said to me, why do you wonder? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carries her, which has the seven heads and the ten horns. The beast that you saw was and is not and is about to come up out of the abyss. He was in the past, right? And uh, not now at that time. And is about to come up. The old gods. And they did. And uh, he did. And that happened already. Go uh, to destruction and those who dwell on the earth whose name had not been written in the book of life from the foundation of the world will wonder when they see the beast that was and is not and is about to come up. And uh, here is the mind that has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. That's the whole world and also Rome, right? And seven, five kings have fallen. One is, and the other is not, and will come. And that's the, the, the demon nation deal, right? Uh, the, the kings of the world, right at that time. No more, right? And the beast was, was and is not as himself an eighth, and is one of the seven and goes to destruction. Right? That part's done. We did all this. The ten horns, which you saw, haven't received the kingdom. Now that's here, right? We got ten horns and ten kings who have not yet received the kingdom. But they're going to receive it for an hour. That's the next, uh, as far as that, if that even is true anymore, right? Or if it just looks like that. We don't know. But that's where we're at. And so it says these have one purpose to give their authority and power to the beast. And uh, what is he going to do with it? 
give it back to God, hopefully. Or they just, uh, whoever it is, right? Because there hasn't been uh, a warning as far as I know except for us and everything's peaceful. See, I'm just a stupid guy in a Long Beach house. I don't know anything. I just read this book and believe by faith. That's what we're all supposed to do. We're like little children walking by faith. I'm not a god or any of those people or billions of things that exist, right? We just read. We were stupid, filled up our brain with God's thoughts. Mine was really empty. Right, he had to really do it a lot. That's why it hurt. That's why it took a long time. Right? Well, that's what he wants to do with all of us. Now it's going to be quicker. It's the antidote. We all had a virus. What the virus is is to wake up to become like Maeve or Dolores in the in the Westworld. We died enough times. We got screwed over enough times by God that we finally woke up. God did all the screwing. God did all the pain. God did all the drugs. God did all the stuff to us. What? And no one knew it. He did it to build an egg. To make a good person. Okay? So you have any complaints about anything that happened to you. God himself did it to you. To make you into something. See? And at no time was he upset because you were crying the whole time. And you were mad and angry. He did it to 8 billion people at the same time. And the world ended other stuff. See, that's impossible to comprehend. That's impossible to think you're smart after hearing that. And that's all he wants to un us to understand, to, to listen, to grow up. We had to grow up to get to start to grow up. Now we can start to grow up because we're a real, live, supernatural person that has a brain and is not insane. That's amazing. Okay? Ta-da! Yeah. Victory of the Lamb. Uh, Revelation 17, 14. These will wage war against the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome them <laughs> because He's the Lord, Lord, and King of Kings. He was never, like, a problem. And, uh, we don't know. And the war is right, out, right now in your own soul. He's fighting all of us in our own house, in our own computer, in our own little experiences. Everybody's isolated. The world isn't there what we think it is, right? It's not even close anymore. It's changed and changed, and today it's going to change again, and tomorrow, we'll see. We're going to see. Um, these will wage war, right? Boom. Uh, against the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome them, because He's the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And those who are with Him are the called, chosen, and faithful. So, some people get to leave before, give them three years to figure this out, and try to adjust to it, right? People are going to spread the word, and God's going to show them, and we're going to see it. And it's going to be the whole realm of scripture in actual, literal, theatrical ways. <laughs> and so it says, uh, And he said to me, The waters which you saw where the harlot sits are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And the ten horns which you saw in the beast, these will hate the harlot and make war and make her desolate and naked and eat her flesh and burn her with fire. They already did. All the religion, right? And God has put it in their hearts to execute his purpose. By having a common purpose. By giving their kingdom to the beast until the words of God be fulfilled. So now we're here. Because now it's not real. Now it's over and the game just is continuing on. Right? But it's, it's lost its reality. So now it's just the beast. Everybody's going to give him its kingdom. And God's going to work on the rest of the people. And we're going to see how that works. Right? And the women, and the woman which you saw is the great city, the Pantheon, which, which reigns over the kings of the earth, which is Rome, the Pope, all that good stuff, right? All that was Babylon, right? And school and education and the whole, the whole gamut. See, it looks so bad. It was all on purpose. You try to make eight billion babies born at the same time. See, if you really, really, and that's too much. I, yeah, no kidding. We're going to grow up. It's going to be okay, right? After these things I saw another angel coming down from heaven having great authority and the earth was illumined with his glory and he cried out with a mighty voice saying he cried out with a mighty voice saying fallen fallen is Babylon the great she has become a dwelling place of demons and a prison of every unclean spirit and a prison of unclean and hateful bird and that's everywhere but Rome and everywhere that Everywhere is, because it's all like that. For all the nations have drunk the wine. See, all. All 
the nations. <laughs> all right. And all good. By the way, don't ever forget God's plan. The title of it is all good. Whatever you did, it didn't matter. It was all good. It's part of growing up. You were made to be a sinner. By the way, we're made negative. Okay, that's another key point for people to understand. We're positive, negative. Satan was negative. He had to go, and God arranged it. He would go and uh, double himself. So now there's two negatives, right? But we're made negative, so we're only designed to do the wrong thing on purpose. We were built that way on purpose. So you can take uh, consolation in that. The reason we did so many bad things because we are made to be bad. We're from the devil, okay? And so that's pretty obvious. So I had a thing in my heart, right, my soul, a voice. And I kept arguing with it every darn day. No, 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 no. And I kept reading, right? And so that's all. So the negative and the positive had been put together. So our whole line of thinking, everyone's. God did an amazing thing. He split the atom. He allowed Satan to split it. And then put a negative and a positive together in one brain. Thinking. Left lobe, right lobe. The full realm of scripture. Everybody can eat that. Boom. Done. That's what he planned from the beginning. How do you take a negative and a positive and put it together? Beats me. Shoot. Uh, this, that's what he did. And he did it all. So now we have left and right brain function completely. And we're operational in every way, and we're going to get a little suit to put that in. And, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> uh, so, five, three, for all, for three, let me see if I did that right. For all the nations have drunk the wine of her passion of her immorality, and the kings of the earth have committed acts of her immorality with her. And the merchants of the earth have become rich by the wealth of her sensuality. And I heard another voice saying, Come out of her, my people, that you will not participate in her sins and receive of her plagues. And that's talking about stay in fellowship, right? And her sins have piled up as high as heaven, and God has remembered her for iniquities. Pay her back, even as she has paid, and give back to her double according to her deeds. And so that system is gone, and so is molting, right? Molting, I'm down with. I don't like molting. I don't like religion. I don't like human good and evil. So that stuff's judged. Okay, the people are going to make it. Uh, pay her back, right? It's talking about judging that. If their thoughts, that have to be judged. If the people don't give up those thoughts, then they have to receive the judgment. They don't need to. All you have to do is give up the thoughts. How do you give them up? By thinking new ones. And God has them all packed and ready to go. That's what his plan was. So everybody doesn't have to do this from scratch. It was to make a highway into a road, into a, a, a sidewalk. It's simple now. So you'll see, everybody's just going to get what he made. He had a baby. It's a thought. And it's a, it's a whole concept of thoughts. It brings all, everything together, every brain. It puts it all together. It gives online what Satan wanted to do. He puts us online, internet. We have a new brain, one mind, one accord with each other. Everybody will agree with him. It's his brain that he built uh, in spite of us and a body, and a new heart. And uh, we're on our way. And the whole world's going to do that, and the rest was just excrement. It, didn't, it wasn't even real. And uh, it was never real. This is, a, this is a similar car similitude. We are in a construct. It's made out of digital flowers. Look at the thing. That's what it's talking about. It's all digital. And, uh, yeah, and in a minute, wait, I don't know how long, the digital's just going to go away. Won't be able to handle the sun. <laughs> so pay her back even as she has been paid and give back to her double. See, it's talking about that. To the degree she glorified herself. Who's that? There ain't no woman. That's religion. It's judged. It's a system of thinking that's judged and lives sensuously. It don't matter what we did. It doesn't matter at all. That was all part of the deal. It was all good. It's talking about these concepts that were overcome and judged. There are thoughts that can never exist again in, the, in this system, in our life, in our brain, right? Uh, so, for she says in her heart, I will sit. You can never like sit, think in those terms. For this reason, and one day her plagues will come, pestilence, mourning, famine, see? It's on uh, buildings, it's on stuff, not people. 
and the kings of the earth who committed acts of immorality and lived sensual with her will weep and lament and, and cry when they see that. Maybe they're rebounding. See, it's a lot different than we saw. And then no one's going to buy this, no one's going to buy that, all that stuff. It's everywhere, it's in every city. And then uh, after these things, I heard something like a loud voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, Hallelujah! Salvation, glory, and power belong to our God because his judgments are true and righteous. For he has judged the great harlot who has corrupted the earth with her immorality and has avenged the blood of her bondservants on her. And a second time they say, Hallelujah, her smoke rises up forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God who sat on the throne saying, Amen, Hallelujah. And a voice came from the throne saying, Give praise to our God, all you his bondservants, you who fear him, the small and the great. Then I heard something like the voice of a great multitude and the sound of many waters, and like the sound of mighty peals of thunder, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God, the Almighty, reigns. And then it says, Let us rejoice and be glad and give the glory to him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come. And the bride has made herself ready. It was given her to clothe herself in fine linen and bright and clean, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. Then he said to me, Right blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are true words of God. And uh, boom. And uh, then the rest, right, the, that's what he's doing. Then I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, Do not do that. I am a fellow servant of yours and your brethren who hold to the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And uh, boom, 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 boom. Uh, the coming of Christ, but we're not there yet. we got to back up here. we got to go to a wedding. <laughs> Well, Father, thank you so much for your amazing grace. Please continue to encourage us and help us and uh, bring us to a wedding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.